Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Vixie, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be setting up my B6 for September and it is 90s themed. I am so excited, I cannot wait to get into this. I've been planning this for the last two weeks, it's insane. So I have everything, I think I have everything, I think I say this every month, but I think I've got pretty much everything that I'm gonna use. I've got my little calendars and everything that I printed out. As always, I'll have everything listed in the description of where I've got it if I didn't you know, make it myself. Um, so yeah, I guess this is pretty much, I don't really want to waste a whole lot of time showing you guys what I've got here because I'm going to show you as I put it into my B6 anyway. So let's just jump straight in. I've already got my page marked and everything as I just wreck my book, no worries. This little, um, isn't this cute? It's a little um, memo pad that I picked up from a shop called Layla's Loft and it's an Aussie shop and I love it. And she's got like the most cute, I, I want to show you because she's literally got like the cutest stuff ever. Like she does all of her designs herself. She like hand draws everything. But look at this, I picked up some stuff for Halloween and this is Pennywise. Like, isn't he like so freaking cute? I just can't even, look, look, he's so cute. Like seriously, these are just a couple of die cuts because I need die cuts, you know, I need all the die cuts. But look at this for my plants this is a die cut as well and then I have like a little Georgie pin which I have stuck on a well it's not stuck on but I have it like clipped to a paper clip at the moment but look look how cute he is he's so adorable I've never even seen the movie I can't I won't I don't watch scary movies I read scary books but I don't watch scary movies anyway I sorry I sidetracked complete squirrel moment but that's where this shop is where this little memo this this shop is where this little memo pad came from so I just wanted to show you that okay I'm a little bit behind actually in my stology so I've like just marked out pages. Yeah, okay, so that's my book reviews page because I finished two books. Like that was one of the things on my bucket, not bucket list, you know, my monthly to-do list. I actually finished two books. I'm stoked about it. So um, I wanted to do, and I loved the books that I finished. And so I wanted to do like, you know, book review pages because I'm just, oh my God, I love them so much. Okay, so with the 90s, um, I'm not gonna be talking really at all about like TV shows or anything like that because I, I mean, I'm, I don't really remember the shows that I watched, honestly. I'm pretty sure I watched a lot of them. Right, I can't find my tape, sorry. I'm gonna use this one. It's a new one that I bought. It's from this brand and I got it from Officeworks. Sorry, squirrel moment. Anyway, yeah, so I'm not gonna be talking about like TV shows or anything because I didn't really watch. Well, no, that's, I was gonna say I don't watch a lot of TV in the 90s. I think I did, um, but I'm a gamer. So I, I know that the majority of my 90s was spent watching games. Oh, cool, this rips, this is awesome. It just rips with your finger. Like you don't have to, whoops, you don't have to use um, scissors or anything, really. Stay. So anyway, uh, the 90s for me was mostly about music and that's exactly what I'm going to be focusing on. So I like obsessed over specific artists, like obsessed over specific artists. And my biggest obsession was Prince. So there, I'm trying not to make this like a full Prince month, <laughs> but I was thinking maybe I should do a Prince month, you know, because he's like a freaking iconic and I was absolutely freaking gutted when he died, I was so upset and I, cause I never got to see him live. And I'm so angry because the last time he came to Australia, he was for his, um, that piano tour. I can't think of what it's called, but when he came to Australia for the last time before he died, he never came to Brisbane. I was absolutely gutted. I was like, really? Like, seriously, you have tons of fans in Queensland. What are you doing? I was so mad, I was so upset. And yeah, then, you know, I, so I never got to see him and I was absolutely ruined from that. Anyway, that whole rant just to say that I was utterly and absolutely obsessed with Prince. And I first heard uh, his, I think the very first song I ever heard of his was, I think it was Diamonds and Pearls actually, but I heard that on the radio after the Love Symbol album came out. And um, yeah, cause that, the Love Symbol album is the first album I ever bought of his actually. Because I wanted, to, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yes, that is right, that's 100% right. So I heard uh, Diamonds and Pearls on the radio and I wanted to go and buy the Diamonds and Pearls album because I just fell in love with it. They were doing like a back-to-back, -back, as I remember. And so it was Diamonds and Pearls and then they played Cream, which was like, oh my God, like, yes. And um, I was like, right, I need to go to the record shop because <laughs> back then we had record shops. And um, I wanted to go and buy diamonds and pearls but I got there and they didn't have any of the CDs left like they had sold out completely I want to put a um I've got some decorative vellum so I made this I printed it out it's on vellum and I really like that and I think that that'll work right here actually I think that'll look all right but I also did this one too because like these patterns were like really big in the 90s for some reason I don't know I don't know why oh but I kind of like that but then I also have this piece of acetate that I foiled myself and it looks janky because it is janky and it didn't foil correctly as per usual that's all right. No, I, oh, do I like that? I don't think I do. I don't think I like that. I don't know. What about this one? That's all right. Yeah, we'll do that. That's okay. 
so now I'm about to struggle tipping it in. Oh, wow, I suppose I should actually tell you what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. I'm like all caught up in the moment of talking about prints. Um, so for every month, I always put in like a splash page with a little mini calendar. This is just decorative. I will never come back and look at this ever. It just delineates the months. And normally I'll have like a picture or something here, or a quote or a song lyric or something. So for August, I did a collage because I did cottage core for August. And for July, let's get to it. I did facts and trivia throughout the ages from 1937 through to 2019 of things that happened in July through that time period. And then I had a little calendar by, um, sorry, my dog was barking, a little mini calendar from Coffee Monsters Co. Uh, and then the one from August was SM Plans. This one I just made myself in Canva. This I made myself in Silhouette. So I wanted to put, because I couldn't think of anything else to put for July and I didn't, oh sorry, for September. And I didn't want to put a specific artist because I, then I would feel like I needed to make the whole month about that particular artist. And I didn't want to do that. So instead what I did was I went on Wiki actually, and I found a, a list of the total number of songs sorry, wait, <laughs> songs by total number of weeks at number one in the 1990s. So it shows you here, like on the year, which year it was the number one and then for how many weeks. So it, it's just crazy to me that like I'm look, I was looking back at these songs and I was like instantly transported back to that time because I was like in my teens in the 1990s and as I was going through these songs in my head as I was printing this out I was like holy crap like so many memories came flooding back to me it was excellent I highly recommend that like if you were a kid in the 90s let me know I want to know were you a teen in the 90s let me know what music you liked I'm so excited like I have no like you have no idea how excited I am for this I love talking about music with people like it's one of my favorite things where is my tape genuinely I need to clean my desk if you saw my desk right now and I may I may do a little desk tour at the end of this video. Don't quote me on that because I'm really very embarrassed about this. It's, it's shocking. Anyways, all right. So let's try and tip this in. I probably won't be talking at the moment because if I talk while I tip in stuff, something that's not going to go well. And I really would like this to go well. I would like this to go as well as it can possibly go. I'm just going to cut off the excess tape here. Oops. I know there's another way of doing this too with like short pieces of tape, but that never works for me. Sorry, I feel like I'm being super noisy today. I think because I'm just so excited to get this spread done. <laughs> okay, so got my ruler. And all I'm doing is sliding the ruler inside the like where the tape is, you know, just up, up the edge of the vellum. So I can just slide it directly into the seam of my book instead of using tiny little pieces which don't work for me. And you are not where you're meant to be. Get over there. Let's get you back, piggy. Okay, so I think that's pretty well centered. I'm just gonna chuck that into the seam of the book like so, and then flip up the tape so it, I got hair stuck on that tape. God damn it. So what happens when you have cats. And now we're gonna do the acetate over the top. It's been a long time since I have done two pieces of decoration in between my calendar and the thing, you know, the other bit, the pretty bit. Basically just getting a piece of tape approximately, <laughs> Get off that. Oh God, it's gonna rip up my foil. And this isn't like secure to begin with because I've got a dodgy laminator. Oh. oh. Yep, it ripped up the foil. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. It'll be in the seam, no one will see it. Yeah, so anyways, I just cut a piece of tape, approximately the same length as my acetate and my vellum. Get my scissors, cut off the excess here on the side without cutting my acetate or my vellum. Line it up with my ruler, like so, like we, ugh, don't stick down to that. Approximately centered to the page. Get in there, piggy, do your job. Poke it in and flip it up. There we go. All right, let's take a look. Actually, I kind of, I really, really, ugh, I really like that. That's very cool. Anyways, look at, look at all of these amazing artists. And I hated this song, by the way. This is the Macarena song. I hated this song so much. <laughs> it used to bother me. Everyone used to sing it. And then like when we went to parties and stuff, everybody would do the Macarena. I'm just like, no, I'm not doing it. I like staunchly refused. And to this day, I will still refuse to do that song. It's horrible, horrible dance. <laughs> I hated it. But oh my God, I swear, all for one, end of the road, boys to men. Oh my God. I remember just laying in my bed, like listening to that song on repeat for like so long. I, I'll make love to you, boys to men. Whitney Houston, I'll always love you. Like serious. I never listened to One Sweet Day. I'm not a Mariah Carey fan. I've never been a Mariah Carey fan ever. So I did not like every time she came on the radio, I was like, nah, flip it. Um, but like these songs, like early nineties, I was like, oh, these are my jam. And there was just, I would just feel like so like, 
why don't I have a boyfriend? You know, I could be doing stuff with him. <laughs> As you do, you know, when you're an angsty teen, like we've all been there, right? We've all been there. Okay, so next up, I'm going to put in my, what I'm watching, playing, reading, and my monthly task sheet, which both of these I made in Canva. I just had to go cut those down because they just were not cut down enough to fit. And I've already got, like, can you see, like, how thick she is already? Like, seriously? Come on now. We're not, I'm not even halfway through the bloody book. Anyway, let's just get this in. Okay, anyway, so back to my initial whole conversation about prints. So when I was at this record shop, this record store, I don't even remember what the name of the record store was, to be honest. Like, it's not Sanity. We still have Sanity now. It's like they sell music and DVDs and all kinds of stuff. Um, but it was not Sanity because Sanity didn't exist then. And I don't remember, I do not remember what the shop was called, which is really bugging me. Like, I spent so much time, like, trying to remember what this damn shop was called and I couldn't think of it. But anyway, so I went in there and I, the guy was like, oh, can I help you find something? And I was like, yeah, I'm looking for... Um, the Diamonds and Pearls album by Prince. And he's like, oh, sorry, love, we sold out of it. And I was like, don't tell me that. Like, when are you getting more in? And he's like, oh, I don't know, you know, probably not till next week. He said, but we've got the new Prince album. Have you heard that? And I was like, no, what's that one? And he's like, yeah, it's this one. And he showed me and it had Prince's love symbol on the, on the front of it. And he goes, yeah, this one's really good. Have you heard seven? And I was like, no. And he said, yeah, it's really, really good. Anyway, he put it on for me in the shop. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it's okay. I didn't want to say no, I didn't like it. I mean, that, but I didn't not like it, but I didn't want to tell him that I didn't like it comparing it to Diamonds and Pearls, which I just heard on the radio and I was like fully in love with. So I didn't want to tell him I didn't like it. He's like, yeah, it's really, really good. So I was like, eh, okay, I'll buy it, I guess. It's not what I want, but I'll buy it, you know. Anyways, I get home and I went straight up to my room and put it on the seat. It was a beautiful CD and I went and put it straight in. And I kid you, bloody not, I was in love with this CD before the night was out. I was in love with it. And my favorite songs kept changing. I was like, I was like fully continental. Like the continental was my favorite song. Like right off the bat, I was like, oh, this is gold. Like sexy MF, like right off the bat, I was in love. My name is Prince. I was in love. Like every single song on that damn CD, I was in love with. Like you have no idea. I was in love with that. That is my monthly favorites. It does not go in the beginning. Um... Yeah, I was absolutely in love with that that whole album. And I think, okay, wait, wait, I need to concentrate for a sec. I think I put in my mood tracker here now, don't I? I think I do my mood tracker and then I do all my calendars. I think that's how I work it. We could just take a look, which would make life much more easy for me. Yeah, okay, yep, cool. So I do put my mood tracker in. All right, let me peek. There we go. And I swear from that point, I was utterly utterly obsessed with him utterly obsessed with him i would go out and i would buy <laughs> magazines that were like seven or eight bucks even just to get like a tiny little a blurb like literally a two sentence blurb or if it had like a tiny little picture of him that i didn't have i would buy that magazine just for that picture cut it out and then put it in my journal and that's actually what um, inspired me to do the a 90s theme this month is because I was going through all my stuff in the garage. Like we still have boxes of stuff in the garage that I haven't unpacked because we weren't supposed to be living in this house for as long as we've been living in it. And I didn't want to unpack everything just to have to repack everything for the new house, you know? Well, we haven't moved and we're not going to move anytime soon because freaking real estate. But anyway, I'm not going to get on that. Um, so I was going through all my stuff and showing my 15 year old because she's like into a lot of things that I was into at, at, at her age. And, um, Anyways, I came across all of my journals and the way I had, I was writing about things and the way that I had decorated it all and the music that, because I used to keep a running list of all the music I listened to and like my favorite bands and everything. And I would, I rambled on for pages and pages and pages about prints. And, you know, I had all of these little cuttings and clippings, clippings. And I had, like, I have a full on folder still downstairs in my garage. I have a full on folder of prints articles and photos and like all of this get off for the love of god all of this stuff i was utterly obsessed i wrote fan fiction for god's sake fan fiction about prince and me of course because who else would i be bloody writing about of course it's going to be me and him you know what i mean and i i mean despite the fact that i'm freaking six feet tall and he was like five foot bloody nothing i was like i don't even care <laughs> we'll make it work you know in my <laughs> In my adorable little teenage heart, I was like, we would make it work. The height thing is not a big deal. We'll make it work, you know. <laughs> oh, my God, how embarrassing. And thank God, like, it's so embarrassing to look back on it now. But I was, like, utterly freaking obsessed. You have no idea. This cut beautifully, didn't it? 
So Prince Lake literally saw me through most of the 90s. He really did. And uh, I'm not ashamed. I'm absolutely not ashamed. I loved him to like the moon and back, like to death. Like I was obsessed, absolutely obsessed, absolutely loved him. So I went and bought Diamonds and Pearls as soon as it came back in because there was no way. I was already like fully obsessed by that point. I had to own everything. All right, sidetracking just briefly here and then we'll get back on prints in a second. These are my uh, calendars. I have three of them, they're all identical and I got these from Printable Kate and the description. So check the description for all of the links to the printables and everything. But they'll use these, I use three of these. I have one for my events calendar, one for my social media Instagram calendar and one for my YouTube calendar. So I just went and printed out a whole bunch of stuff including some washi because I can never have, I never have washi that fits along the bottom here. God, get in frame. All right, there we go. So this is my September label and that's going to go right here and I did bubble writing because bubble writing was like huge in the 90s if you remember um and I was gonna actually do it like in my own handwriting and print it out and I just lost track of time and didn't I just didn't have time to do that so unfortunately I'm not doing that but um that's okay so this is going to be my event calendar and I'm actually using which I normally use like this really janky little exclamation mark but I'm going to use this today for this actually I should probably put down some washi first because I'm not sure how far along that's going to go. Uh, and I think I want to use for this one, I think I want to do this one, this big 90s piece, which I made myself in Canva. And I've been asked actually to show you how I make my washi strips, so I'm going to do that for you. Doing tutorials in Canva is actually quite tricky. Let's just put that here. Um, and I often forget to tell you exactly what I'm doing, so the editing is a little bit difficult because then I have to do voiceover and stuff. Rightio then, I made that way too big. I'm not going to put any washi here, but that's what that looks like. I'm sorry, I don't think I was in frame then, sorry. My camera keeps moving. My uh, tripod I think is dying or dead or something because it keeps it doesn't hold still anymore. It just moves around on its own. It's one of them desk ones that clamps onto the end of your desk, you know, and I think it's just dodgy as hell. Right, so let's get these down. I had to resize these from last week, uh, last month, I mean. Last month I made them way too big. So I resized them to fit the personal wide because this is the personal wide insert that I printed out. It's just, it's the perfect size to go into your B6. Like it's, you don't have to really trim it down excessively, which is really nice. I like that. So I cut it out and I put it on a little sheet and everything. See, Vixie shop. I'm starting my own shop. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you already know that. But uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, well, I, I'm starting my own shop. I'm actually pretty excited about it. I've been teaching myself how to do all of this really cool stuff in addition to everything else that I do. And I just took a drawing course too, so but I'll get into that later. Probably, if I can remember. I tend to, actually it's funny because when I'm going through all of my editing, or sorry, when I'm editing all my videos, I'm just like, oh wow, you started talking about a topic there and then you just never went back to it, you know, because I sidetrack, like I'm a freaking squirrel. I get a dog rather with a squirrel. I just get sidetracked all of the time so, so easily. I do have ADHD though, so that could be part of it. But anyways, okay, so back to prints because I am I could talk about prints forever. At least back then, I'm not as, uh, I'm not obsessed about him with him at all anymore, but I was legit gutted when he died. I was just wrecked. Um, and then I was wrecked even more about his goddamn sister. And I don't, I'm not going to apologize for this at all. She, I do not like her. I don't even remember her name. What's, I can't even think of her name off the top of my head. But I do not like her. She had him uh, freaking cremated. Like within 24 hours, I was like, what? Like the shock hadn't even set in yet over the fact that he had passed. And she's already out there getting him cremated. I was like, what? I, I was like stunned. And I was so mad. I was just so angry at her. And then, you know, I got even angrier when she was just like, oh yeah, we're going to do all this stuff with Paisley Park and we're going to open it up to the public and blah, blah, blah. And are you freaking kidding me? Prince didn't want any of that. If he wanted any of that, he would have done it when he was bloody alive. But she was like, open. sorry, I'm like really passionate about this. Oh my God. Tyka, I think her name is, or Tika. I can't, I don't, yeah, I think that's her name. And um, anyways, yeah, so she's like opening up all parts of Prince's studio that he never wanted to be made public. And she's like ripping out these all these songs from the vault that he never wanted to go public. And I was like, oh, I was so mad. And I know I'm not the only one, but oh my God, I was so mad. I was like, you are totally only in this for the money. And I couldn't believe he didn't have a will. And I don't know if that's a JW thing or not, because he was Jehovah's Witness for those of you who don't know. And I don't know if that's a JW thing or not, whether or not they're not allowed to have a will or if it's just automatically supposed to go to the church. I have no idea. But I was just so like in such disbelief because the man went through his whole life 
fighting for his own personal freedom to make his own records, his own music, the way he wanted to make it without being limited or bound by any type of recording studio or company or anything like that. And she comes along, she's like releasing all of this stuff. I mean, he, if he wanted it released, it would have been released. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there was a lot of stuff that he did not want to have released for whatever reason, his reasons, they're, they're, they're his reasons. And she was just like, oh, nah, we're just going to do it. Who cares what he wants? He's dead. He doesn't, doesn't get a say in it anymore. Oh my God. I was absolutely freaking outraged, outraged. And I absolutely refuse now to go to go to Paisley Park. I refuse to give that woman any money because it's all going to her. Like freaking way to capitalize on your brother's death, you know? And he didn't even have anything to do with her when he was alive. So, I mean, what does that tell you? You know? Sorry. Okay. I'm seriously, I'm done. I'm over it. I, well, I'm not over it, but I'm, I'm not going to keep talking about it. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyways, let's get on to this next uh, insert. This one is going to be my social media calendar for Instagram, which I've been doing since February, actually. And, uh... I'm stunned, by the way. Can I just take a moment to realize that's crooked? To um, be completely stunned by the amount of followers that I have gotten on my Instagram. So in the last in the last month, actually, it actually, and my YouTube. I didn't realize we we're over 500 subscribers. I have no idea. At count yesterday, I think because I do it every Sunday for my tracker. Actually, for this, um, I think we were at 543. I think. And um, yeah, I was absolutely blown away. Like so blown away. This is going to be my social media calendar. So I'm going to put my little Instagram icon here. I was absolutely blown away. And then I panicked, which I do very frequently and very often because I was like, well, holy crap, I'm not going to have enough time to gather all of my supplies for <laughs> my hundred, sorry, my thousand um, subscriber giveaway. I mean, at the rate I'm going, I think I calculated my math sucks like I'm terrible at math you have no idea but I think my um if the trend keeps on going the way it's going I'll hit a thousand I think in January so that means I have to get my butt in gear and get all of the stuff for my thousand subscriber giveaway but on that actually I wanted to talk to you guys because um I okay so I'm gonna digress slightly as I do this I I almost never enter giveaways myself um, just because I have terrible luck <laughs> and uh, it never, never works out. Like I never win anything really. So I just, I've just gotten to a point now where I don't even try. But what really grates on me a lot is when I'm following somebody and they do a giveaway and they just announce it and then they put it, you know, in the title and they hashtag it and everything because, and one of the requirements is to subscribe or to follow or whatever in order to be eligible, right, to win. That, bu that bugs me so much because you've already got however many people in your audience already who are loyal to you and who come back and they watch you all the time and they really like you and they take the time to comment on all your videos uh, or, or photos or, you know, I mean, depending on whatever platform we're talking about here, your posts, you know, all of that. You, you've got people who come back constantly, like they're here for you and they're showing you that they're supporting you. And then to me, that's just like a massive slap in the face. Like, are you kidding? You're opening up a giveaway to potentially someone who doesn't know you from a bar of soap only so that you can increase your follower count. Like that grates on me. I'm not even going to apologize for that. It really, really does. And so I don't do, I, I will not do something like that. But what I was thinking is that I will do, when I do my giveaway, it's only going to be for my current subscriber count. Like it will only be open to those people who are subscribed to me on the day that I announce the giveaway, if that makes sense. But I also want it to go to people who... I know are constantly watching my videos and who are actually involved. So I've got 500 subscribers and I, 500 people do not comment on all my stuff. So of those 500 subscribers, I don't know how many of them are real people. I don't know how many of them are bots or people who see my follow account and think, oh, she's going to do a giveaway soon. I'm going to subscribe. You know, I would rather give something to one of you who have been engaging and who have been you know, chatting with me and just being like cool people. Do you know what I mean? So I'm trying to decide because when I announce it, it'll be in a video. It will. I will not have a giveaway video per se, but I will talk about it in a video. So I was thinking that because I know that there's a lot of people who are very uncomfortable commenting and I get that. Like I understand social anxiety. I understand anxiety very, very well. I have, I have anxiety, so I completely understand it. Um, so I was thinking, and you can let me know what you think, 
that when I announce my giveaway, I might just have you put like an emoji or something in the comments if you want to be part of the, you know, if you want to be part of the giveaway, if you want to be part of that. That way I know that you're even interested. All right, sorry, sidetrack just for a sec. Uh, this one is my YouTube, my YouTube calendar. I printed these, but I don't really, eh, I'll use one. That's all right. I printed it, I might as well use it. So yeah, um, that's what I was thinking I might do, is just have you guys put in an emoji or something instead of leaving me a comment, which I know can be very daunting to some people. So instead of just leaving me some type of random comment kissing my butt, I might just ask you to leave an emoji or something. Would that be cool with most of you? Um, and if you want to reply to that, but you are too scared to say yes or no, and you can just reply using an emoji because I've decided I'm not going to use the thumbs up feature anymore. Like, you know, if I say oh, thumbs up or whatever to let me know if you like something, because I know that a lot of people don't like using that feature because then they don't want YouTube knowing what they, not, not so much like not what they watch, but they don't want to be tracked, I guess. And so once you start liking things, then you start getting recommended things based off what you like. And I know a lot of people don't like that. So I figured, well, that's kind of, unfair to you know those of you who watch my videos and you don't like liking them you know what I mean like you don't like hitting that, that little button I understand that and I'm completely fine with that so maybe an emoji I don't know does it does it work the same way I really don't know so yeah anyways if you think that that's a, a decent idea maybe just drop me an emoji I mean you can also leave me a comment if you want to but I'm just trying to make it easier for you guys like whatever's easiest for you so I mean I'm here for you I'm not doing these videos for myself you know because I like sharing how I do my setups and I like sharing my Stalogy and I like finding a bunch of people who also like sharing their Stalogies or their planners in general, you know? And anyway, the whole point of that rant is that I want to do a giveaway and I'll be doing a giveaway for the hundred, uh, sorry, for the thousand subscriber mark. I keep wanting to say a hundred thousand, but yeah, I'm just trying to, just trying to figure out what's like best for you guys, I guess. Like what makes you more comfortable. So if you want to, if you want to leave me a comment, feel free. You can also DM me. I've had a lot of you DM me. Please don't um, email me through YouTube. I don't check that because I leave it all for spam. Um, so anything that goes to like my YouTube, I think there's a YouTube inbox somewhere. So anything that goes there is pretty much spam and I don't check it. So, but if you want to DM me, just jump on Instagram. And I'm sorry if you don't use Instagram. There's really no other way to get a hold of me because I don't check YouTube unless you leave a comment. I mean, that's kind of where I'm at with this whole giveaway thing because it's like coming up, like it's coming up fast like way faster than I ever thought possible. I didn't even know I was post 500 subscribers until my friend Lisa messaged me and she's like, or not messaged me, but we were talking. And she's like, you're well over 500 subscribers now. And I was like, I'm sorry, what now? <laughs> but I thought anyway, for my giveaway, that I would collect a bunch of stuff that's like my favorite things. And, um, you know, some, some other things as well, including from my upcoming shop. So I'll have that. Um, my shop isn't up yet. It's not open, but I have my Instagram. So I'll leave that in the description if you want to follow it. And absolutely no pressure. Don't think for a second that I'm telling you this because I want you to go there and then buy my crap when I get it up. You know, that's not why I'm telling you. But if you want to, that's cool too, you know. Get down. There you go. I can't believe how chunky this is already. Like, seriously. Look, I made um, tabs for my, um, my book. I have a new to read section. So I made little book tabs, they're so cute. And then I made a little Christmas tab because I wanted to put my Christmas wish list in. I don't know what I'm gonna put here yet, but that's irrelevant. But this is my Christmas wish list and I needed to have like a little tab right up there. I made that one myself because, because I could. <laughs> so it's just, it's easier, honestly. And I figure, and so many of you have said to me, so many of you actually have asked me if what I make is for sale, if, you know, where, where they can buy it. I'm like, uh, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> so, um, Anyways, uh, now you'll be able to if you want to. But again, no pressure. Seriously, no pressure. You don't have to buy absolutely anything at all from me. And I don't expect you to. So please don't feel pressured to do that. I'm just, it's just another side hustle I got going. You know, if you can have like, and I was listening to a, um, an entrepreneur, a female entrepreneur. And uh, I think it wasn't a podcast. Oh, it was like a podcast, but it was on YouTube. It was a YouTube podcast thing. And, you know, she was like, rant, not ranting, but she was like raving about, you know, having multiple forms of passive income. And she was giving all of the, and I've been watch, watching a lot of these because I'm thinking, well, if I can do stuff and make passive income from it, then I'm bloody gonna, you know what I mean? Like, why wouldn't you? And so, you know, she's, there's so many of them all over YouTube as well. And so I was, you know, gather, getting all these ideas and I thought, oh yeah, I could do that. I could do that. And it really, it's just like initial outlay of your time. And then you just sort of let it be and see what your residual income ends up being, like your passive income. And I thought that was really cool. So yeah, that's basically why the shop, because <laughs> I thought, well, it would be cool to have, because I you know, want to buy a house and with the way our bloody economy is going because of COVID, thank you very much, COVID. And the way the job market is, you know, 
got to do what you got to do. So, all right, I'm digressing again. The checklist here is uh, for my videos, my YouTube videos. I just write down the videos that I have filmed and then, you know, whether or not I've edited, or sorry, filmed it, edited it, posted it, scheduled it, all of that stuff. That's what this is for. And I really, really like this actually. I'll have the link for the insert in the description as well for this one because I did not make it. I probably wouldn't make inserts like this actually. I have tried because I did make my mood tracker. I did make this myself and it was a bit fiddly actually. And so I probably would not even bother trying to make actual inserts that you can print and cut yourself because there's heaps of people that do it and they'll do it so well. Especially Peanuts Planner Co. If you guys have never used Peanuts Planner Co. inserts, highly recommend. They're amazing. All right, so I do need to write on this one. Why don't I write on this anyway? I think I need to write video title, actually. All right, so video title. Oh, it's getting tricky to write. Oh, it's my little book. Here it is. All right, here we go. That's better. Genuinely cannot believe how fat it is already. Like, I literally just started this in July. But I don't know who the bloody hell my dog keeps barking at. There's no one outside. And there's no birds, oddly enough. They're coming. I have a bird nest outside my window. I've got a little swallow's nest. So I don't know how long it's going to be before they hatch and start squawking. Posted and socials. Okay, so that's done. And then video ideas for this page. I really wish I could hand letter, but I cannot, and I'm so lazy, I don't even want to learn. All right, I don't have anything to put in my September calendar because it's I've got my phone filming, so I can't get to any of that. I still haven't learnt to write all that down before I start filming. My Instagram calendar, all right, so what I can do for this, though, is put down my little goal sticker that's coming right off because I messed up my cut settings somehow. See, it's not supposed to do that. Just ripped right off. It's not meant to do that. So I'm going to pop my goals up here. And I have all of these stickers that I printed out. So I might as well use them. What am I going to use for Instagram? I mean, that I could... No, that's not going to fit. That's way too big. What about this one? God, do you remember these? These little candy rings? I know they're still around today. But, my God, they were... Like, everyone used to run around with these in the 90s, pretending they were, like, dummies. Or, uh, oh, God, they're not called dummies in America. What are they called? Um... Pacifiers, that's what they're called, pacifiers. It took me way too long to remember. What if I run that there, like along the top? What do you reckon? That's all right, eh? Let's see. Oh, that's wicked. Oh, I didn't even realize it had like paint splatters on it or something. Let's just use that anyway, because I like it. Get me a little mini ruler, because I don't actually have a washi cutter. <laughs> Although, I have to say, there have been some really cute little washi cards that I've seen. The washi cutter cards. God, I love this really skinny washi. I bought a bunch of stuff from AliExpress, of course, because <laughs> why wouldn't I? And uh, yeah, I specifically got like tons and tons of tiny little washies. But they're all like, they're only three meter, three meter rolls and that's just a sample roll. So I'm going to be sad when I run out of it. Look, I've even got matching blue. Like, this is awesome. I've got so many colors now. I'll try and put the link to the shop in the description. I don't know if they're still going to have the same... Oh, this is like the same type of thing. It's like Galaxy or something. I don't know if you can see that. But I'll try and put the link to the shop anyway where I got them. But I don't know if they'll still have the same pack that I bought. They probably will, though. God, I love it. I love it. All right, where's the other one? Back here. I swear to God, my desk. Look, I'm telling you, I'm a mum, and if my kids had desks like this, I'd be screaming at them to clean it up because it's dreadful. How do I not have yellow washi? Well, I'm gonna have to use purple then. A friend of mine was, I showed a friend of mine my, my picture of my desk, and she's like, oh, that's just um, controlled chaos or, or something like that anyway. Creative chaos, possibly? I can't remember the words that she used, and I was like, mm, nah, it's just a mess. And I genuinely can't find anything either. So it's not like the type of mess where you know where everything is. I have no idea. I'm constantly chucking stuff around. Cool. Cool beans. All right. Um, actually, I want to put something else here. I want to use my decorations. Let's do the skate. You guys ever skated before? I have. It's not. wasn't fun. And, well, it was fun until I fell over. That was not so fun. <laughs> 
There we go. Oh, and I need to put my little goals sticker here. No, I don't. That's my events calendar. I don't have goals on my events calendar. I have it on my YouTube calendar. There we go. Perfect. And then on my YouTube calendar, let's put the diamond. Because it sort of matches, doesn't it? There we go. All right. So now my goals for September for Instagram. What have I got here? So, my, oh, that's my YouTube calendar. Because I got my calendars back to front in August. Yeah, all right. So my goal, my follower goal for August was 500. And I'm over that. I think I'm 515 or 516 or something at, at the time of filming. I reckon if I put 600 for this month, for September, that's going to be like super ambitious and probably won't happen. But whatever, it's a goal. There we go, 600. It's in writing, so it is now official. Right, I need me texters because, oh, hold on. Garbage truck's coming, I need to be quiet. Right, yeah, sorry about that. If it's not the kids or the birds or the dog, it's the garbage trucks. All right, so we were doing goals. So I wanna do, purple represents my posts. Um, actually. Blue represents my story, not my stories, my reels, which I really need to get back into doing. You guys really like my reels, which is awesome. And posts. Okay, so, not posts, stories. God, get it right. Posts, reels, stories. God, I ran downstairs to grab a drink of water while the garbage truck was going by and I'm like all out of breath, like what the hell? For posts, I'm gonna stick with like three times a week. That seems to work out pretty well, even though half the time I'm not doing that these days. <laughs> I'm just too busy, I've got so much going on. Um, and I really would like to start doing real. So I'm going to try and do one a week. Why did you, I was going to write one times real. This is what I love so much about this pilot friction pen is I can erase my mistakes. And then for stories, I'm actually pretty good at stories. So I'm going to keep those at doing 10 a week. And I've been sort of slamming that actually. I'm doing way over 10 a week for the most part. <laughs> okay. So that's that for my Insta goals. And then for YouTube, what did I do before? I think I put in a subscriber count of, where is it? Bloody hell. See, that was the event calendar. That was a little thing that I was marking my event calendar. Right, I wanted 400 subscribers. I need my little book to lean on. So my subscribers, I guess we'll make 600, which makes me very, very nervous. And I still want to do at least one video a week. I might actually mark that in red because YouTube's red. There we go. So film once a week. And by the way, um, I really just wanted to apologize because I didn't realize that so many of you wanted me to keep doing the plan with me's every week. I'm so, so, so sorry. I didn't even check my analytics for some reason. I just, I analytics are a little bit daunting to me and so I don't really check mine and so I didn't know. So I'm really sorry. I will endeavor to do that this month. That's actually on my, it will be on my, on, I have to fill out my um <laughs> my monthly task sheet and I can't fill this out because I haven't started watching anything in September yet, but I do need to fill out my monthly task sheet. But anyway, yeah, so I didn't realize. And so that is something that I will be doing going forward is checking my analytics so that I can see what's going on. And then I can, you know, plan out things accordingly and do things that you guys want to see. And I'm really so sorry about that. I really dropped the ball. So, oh, and I need to fill this out as well, which I'll do off camera because that's actually quite time consuming. And my video ideas page, I will write weekly plan with me videos. I'll try and have those out on Mondays, I guess. I'll try and get them filmed on like a Saturday or something. Probably not Saturday or Sunday because everyone's home and everyone's noisy. Probably Fridays. It doesn't really matter, I suppose. I'll try and get them filmed and I'll have them up to watch on Monday with, I'm just basically setting up the week ahead. Oh, I've got some washing that I could put here. Yeah, so like when I first started doing um, my plan with me, when I did that very first one, um, I really actually did not like doing it, to be honest. Um, no, I had a lot of fun setting it up, but I didn't like that I wasn't doing it daily because that was like part of my routine. But really, I'm... I think I'm at the point now where I would probably rather just set it up in advance. Is that going to work? I really don't like that washi. Why? I shouldn't have put that down. Yeah, so I think I'm at the point now because I've got so much going on. Um, let's just rip the page. Let's just rip the page right off. That's all right. No worries. That I've got so much going on at the moment that 
setting my basics up a week in advance is actually probably going to be very beneficial. So I'm going to go back to doing that. I want to put that here, but I also want to put some washi across the top. Oh, you know what? I could just use this. This right here. So I'm probably going to regret doing this, especially doing it on camera. I actually think that's straight. Blow me down. All right, let's use this. So I will definitely get back into doing that for you. And again, I'm really, really sorry. I just wasn't paying attention to my analytics. I did not realize how many of you wanted to see that. I'm still getting comments and yeah, I'm still getting DMs about it. So I'm really sorry. I will definitely do that for you. I truly don't want to be one of those people. It's like, oh yeah, I'm going to do whatever I say. You know, I'm going to do something and then not, not do it. I don't want to be one of those people. But I genuinely just didn't even think about checking my... I don't even know why. I just genuinely don't check my analytics. Um, no... I don't think I want that there now. I don't know. <laughs> I can't commit. I don't know. Maybe the pager. God, who had a pager in the 90s? Hands up. I did. <laughs> when I moved to America, actually. I was living, for those of you who don't know, um, I was living in America for almost 10 years. Connecticut, specifically. And um, hated most of it. Nothing to do with the state. Absolutely nothing to do with people. It was the asshole I was with abusive piece of shit and I'm um, not going to apologize for swearing either I'm not going to apologize for that because that's what he is and um anyway so yeah I um started a business with him actually because he was like oh let's do this that way we don't have to go to work and I was like well we start a business we still have to go to work idiot so anyway um we had to get a page off for work so <laughs> work right I'm using the term very loosely because he did not work I mean he did but most of the time he spent on workman's comp because of injuries <laughs> He did not want to work, let me tell you. Anyway, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole because it's not worth it and I don't want to. I don't want to. So um, anyway, I don't know, was Hollow a thing in the 90s? Did Hollow exist? I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did exist. God, don't come for me because I don't know, okay? I lived a very sheltered life in the 90s. How does that look? That looks all right. Might as well use a bit of Simply Gilded Washi because I've got it here on my desk. Looks okay, doesn't it? Just tell me it looks okay and make me feel better. All right, cool. So I think I'm done. And I know that I have like not finished off. I don't even know how many conversations. I'm going to go back through editing and be like, wow, you suck. So I'm really sorry about that. Oh, yeah, my monthly task sheet. Let's get that done. Let's take a look at my monthly task sheet and what I managed. Wow. Wow. That's embarrassing. Look, I finished two books, though. Like, go me. And I even wrote them down here. But I'll go through that in my August flip. Right, I didn't upload my August freebies. Great, loser. Okay, I'll do that. And September. I need to figure out a day, actually, so that I can just make sure that I do it on that day all the time. All right, so I'm definitely going to put on here uh, weekly plan with me's, email, charities for the beds, tidy office space I'm telling you this is dreadful dreadful mm, i do need to test all of the new transparent paper that i've bought i'm still trying to find really good transparent paper sticker paper and um i'm having a really hard time finding it so oh and i need to buy some foils from spotlight because i want to try those Now from this, yep, all right, I did that. Um, I'm not going to set up an iPad station actually. Uh, so therefore I won't need to rearrange my printers. I do need to still clean out my pantry. Wow. All right, you definitely need to make this a priority, my dear. Clean out pantry. Mm, clean the garage. I still need to find some Anxiety Girl printables. I actually did not find any that I liked. Although, I mean, I'm doing this drawing course now. I might just make my own. I might just draw my own. Definitely want to read two more books, which I think I'm going to actually because I've gone back to reading another series that I'm, like it's one of my all-time favourite series. I've gone back to reading that. 
so I will probably easily finish two books. I'll probably end up finishing like four this month actually just because it's my favorite series. It's the Cut and Run series by the way if you're curious. Uh, it's an LBGTQ uh, series actually revolving around two FBI agents and the cases that they have to go and solve as well as finding love. It's just wonderful. If, look, honestly, I'm a sucker for romance. If it's got romance in it, I'll read it. If it's romance fantasy, I'll read it. If it's romance crime, I'll read it. If it's romance horror, yo, you best believe I'll read it. If there's no romance, I won't read it. That's what I've determined. Anyway, okay, I think that's it. So let's just take a quick... Did I seriously? I did. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. You know why? You know, totally know why. Because I was talking. I wasn't paying attention. I genuinely thought I would have gotten through September without doing that. Wow. That's alright. Um, actually, I might be able to put my um, purchases here, I guess. Because I'm not tracking my sleep anymore. Maybe I'll just put my purchases here. We'll see how that goes. Alright, let's take a look and see what we've got from the beginning. So here is my start page with my little decorative calendar that I made myself in Canva. A decorative piece of acetate that I foiled myself. A I love the 90s decorative vellum that I printed myself from Canva. An insert I got from that I made from Wiki actually and various Google images. Um, and it is the Songs by Total Number of Weeks at number one for the 1990s. Huge trip down memory lane for that one. My What I'm Watching Playing reading list, my monthly task list, which has started to be filled out. My mood tracker, blank pages because I was too busy chatting. Maybe I'll just chuck prints in here actually since it was like dominated the conversation through most of the video. My September events list, which I can't fill out because I'm using my phone to film. My September Instagram social media tracker. So with my goals down the bottom here. My September YouTube tracker with my goals down the bottom here. My checklist, uh, my YouTube video checklist and my video ideas page. And that's it. I made it through the end of the video. I think I still had like tons of stuff that I want to talk to you guys about. But that's all right. I had a blast doing September actually, setting all of this up and just talking about music and stuff. It's like one of my favorite subjects to talk about. So thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Thanks for listening. Let me know what you thought in the comments and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye everybody.